Oh, who knew? Who the hell knew that disagreeable, that must be asshole, married men who shirk domestic responsibilities earn more at work? Well, of course. The lazier you are at home, the more productive a worker you are in the labor force. But that only applies to men, of course. Uh, women, uh, they don't benefit either way, whether they shirk their responsibilities at home or they don't. They don't do any better because, you know, men are better and they're providers and women are dependents. And so as long as uh, they don't make waves in the workforce or as long as they're dumped at home doing the shit work, then men are going to benefit no matter what. But I thought this was hilarious. And it isn't. It's outrageous and hilarious. And it's no shit Sherlock. It says here, Married men who don't help out around the house tend to bring home bigger paychecks than husbands who play a bigger role on the domestic chores front. New research from the University of Notre Dame shows that disagreeable men in opposite sex marriages are less helpful with domestic work, allowing them to devote greater resources to their job jobs, which results in higher pay. In contemporary psychology, agreeableness is one of the big five dimensions used to describe human personality. Jordan Peterson is one of these architects of this crap. You know, um, he talks about it all the time, that women are agreeable. You know, they, they kiss up to men. They prioritize men. They just... Uh, don't make waves. Oh, while at the same time, the feminine is chaos. So this son of a bitch, he doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground about anything. I'm talking about Jordan Peterson. But anyway, it generally refers to someone who is warm, sympathetic, kind, and cooperative. Yeah, little, little help meet. That's women. It's women there that way. Disagreeable people who do not tend to do not tend to exhibit these characteristics. And they tend to be more self-interested and competitive. So that's, again, that's all this sex role shit. It's not because men are naturally this way or that women are naturally little doormats. It's just the, the way the system is rigged against women. But I don't know why the hell you need even need a study to state the obvious, but it says here why disagreeableness in married men leads to, leads to earning more. A theory in tests of social exchange at home is forthcoming in personnel psychology, and I ain't going to mention all the names because it's a bunch of crap. It says here across two studies we find evidence that disagreeable men tend to earn more money relative to their more agreeable male counterparts because they are more self-interested and less helpful to their wives at home, which allows for greater job involvement and ultimately higher pay. The effect is even stronger among disagreeable men with more traditional gender role attitudes and when their wives are highly conscientious, presumably because in these cases their wives take on more household management and more seamlessly carry out the responsibilities. Oh, whore. Oh, bullshit. Men dump this shit on women. And women take this damn crap because they're afraid of being abandoned. They're afraid of starving to death. They're afraid of being dumped for a younger, uh, more beautiful or more compliant, let's face it, more compliant model. Um, that's what they're afraid of. It's fear that drives women. It isn't because they, they just naturally take it on seamlessly. It's forced on them. Would you shut up? Sorry. This dog, she gets on, gets on a tangent and she barks her ass off. Um, but anyway, the concept may bring to mind... May bring to mind the 1950s and 60s sitcom Leave it to Beaver. Uh... And it suggests that because these men are able to preserve more time and energy at home, they can invest these resources into their work and earn more. Well, what they're doing is they're avoiding responsibility at home. And the women sit back and take it. Again, because they're afraid of being abandoned. Or, you know, and, they, and women are severely uh, limited in the workforce. They're 
um, denigrated in the workforce. But um, anyway, it's stating the obvious. I don't know why you need a study that sa says what everybody knows, that men are too, who think it's beneath them to do anything in the home, sure, they're going to make more money at work. And then they could use that leverage, uh, I would say, use that leverage that they make more money than, say, the wife does. Uh, to claim they don't have to do anything at home, that that balances it out. Doing the free labor, the shit work at home, somehow balances out the fact that he makes more money at a job because he's avoiding the uh, chores at home because they're beneath him. So it's all kind of a circular thing. But why the hell do you need a goddamn study? And I don't like this word disagreeable and agreeableness. That's like I said, that's Jordan Peterson horseshit. Um, just you could say traditional men versus non-traditional men. You don't have to say agreeable and disagreeable. It's just it's stupid. And disagreeable to me says you're an asshole. That's basically if somebody's disagreeable, they're an asshole. Instead of somebody who is takes on a traditionally uh, masculine role in the home. So, yeah, it's a laughable thing. And it's amazing people uh, publish papers stating the obvious. And I thought I'd share it. It just pissed me off to no end because it's stuff that we already knew. But, you know, I'm 66 years old now. And things don't even seem to have changed one goddamn bit since I was a kid in the, the 1960s when the sex roles were really at their zenith. And you had all these shotgun marriages and early marriages and all that crap. Teenage marriages, all that kind of crap. And it just seems like we haven't evolved at all. And women better ask themselves if this... This is even worth taking on. Living with a man is even worth taking on at all.